I want for you to embrace your responsibility as ceremonial beings. And I want for you to forget the word sacrifice. In tradition, there has been so much of that. And now the ceremonial councils are saying, let's bring new words. We don't sacrifice anymore. We gift of what we are that was given the ability to walk, talk, breathe, sing, dance on this Mother Earth. Kine choreography is uh, finding the movement in everything in the world. Movement is life, so that's what choreography is, is like working with the source of life. We invite women of the Americas. We invite three, four, five, six. We draw the red. Dancing Earth becomes a catalyst through indigenous wisdom. Is about no longer being not enough. So that's fed to us in terms of many forms of colonization or societal oppression. I think there's um, an inclusive element, learning from personal philosophies that were rooted in ancient practices, like this is how I live my life, this is why I do it. Here and now, we raise our voices and know more, like everything that... I think dancing, it's also a decolonization that happens not only through intent, but through our process, so that people will know that they are enough and that what they can dream of, they can become. Through our work, I get invited to communities and there might be an elder there It takes an interest or someone comes to a performance and stands up and gives some oratory afterwards that speaks to what we've done. Please share whatever they thought was important for the world to know to be translated through dance. So that reminded me to trust our bodies and to believe what they believed, which is that performance is a functional ritual for transformation and for healing. Mulan came into an indigenous setting and gave a brilliant presentation to elders. And they shared their information of history, tradition, culture, language. Mulan then brought this into what we're seeing today. Dancing Earth is a flagship in which through the arts, is going to bring an awakening and understanding. And that is why the elements of the arts are being brought in to have that expression. Drawing, singing, dancing, writing. These are the tools. Our work became ecologically focused because it seemed that the elders and the culture carriers were identifying that as the themes that, could, that were most important to share with the whole world. Anything that was related to, let's learn how to live on this earth again. the sacreds globally, the sacreds within the indigenous lands are being raped, pillaged, plundered, desecrated. This is not acceptable. Seek justice, fight for human peace, and believe in themselves so that they may lift the earth up high with their strong little fleshy hands in multi-hues lift the earth to unfathomable heights. If you can change one person's heart for even a second, I feel like that's progress for me. And the things that I know, my culture, my education, my experience is worth sharing. And I feel like that's when change happens, is when people see it and they feel it and then they finally believe it. It takes a lot to get there, but it happens. Just being able to tell people that we're here, this is who we are. I want to be able to continue my language and continue positive aspects of my culture, like the planting, the healthy habits, the connection with the earth. 
part of your purpose as in dance is to remind us of hope and that what we do makes a difference and also to bring beauty. Beauty is a very serious and important value. Beauty through performance as an actual ritual in which we embody the truth that we wish to see.